G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel, Bonzo Works. I'm David. Unfortunately, my uh, sound recording didn't work on the video, on the first half of this video, so I've got a voice over here. You'll see my mouth moving, like in the Japanese uh, movies that got dubbed way back in when. Um, anyway, this is a lily pilly that I dug up from the ground uh, probably six months to a year ago now. I can't remember exactly. I've done a video on this tree before and a couple of its siblings but um this tree i want to actually have a look closer look at it um it's got a really good nabari uh, or, or root spread nabari is the root spread down down low where the roots and the soil meet um so the nabari that that wideness um i want to be able to raise it so i can actually have a look and my intentions is to put it into this mica mica pot mica is just the hard plastic now, the reason I want to put it into there is, for one reason, it's round, so I can actually spin it around and see where the front is. I haven't really decided on a front for this tree just yet, so I'll be able to spin it around. But also the mica, I can drill holes into the mica pot and then anchor branches and trunks to it. So instead of wiring up the trunks, I can actually put a guy wire, tie it to the pot through a hole that I've done and bend it. So it's just these trunks are very firm and very rigid. So this enables me, that pot enables me to create the holes thread it through, thread the wire through and pull it down. So that's the plan. So I want to really get stuck into this tree. I think it's ready, just, it grows like a weed. It's very, very, very rigorous. Um, doesn't have any issues in terms of health. It just, just keeps powering along. So I don't think it's going to have any issues with recovering within a month or two. And then I'll look at trying to wire this tree up and start to place branches and clean it up, maybe get rid of some trunks or so on. But in the meantime, I'm just going to really repot this tree today. Nice, simple, um, simple lesson. Nothing too, nothing too major. But the important thing is getting out of this plastic pot so I can work on it in a month or two's time. So we'll be back soon. All right, everyone. So I gave the, I've taken it out of the pot and I've given it a good wash, and you can see the all the nice healthy roots. Um, it became obvious that this side definitely has to be the front because of the base and the roots. Uh, this side is pretty much just, you'll see it's kind of just chopped off and doesn't look the best. Um, this side, the, the trunks are more to the front, where this side, the trunks are more to the back, which would all look better, but that base is pretty horrendous. Um, so I'm going to have to go with that as the front and work on it. So I've really given a good wash of the old soil, got rid of it all. Um, I'm going to plant it in, at this angle um, in the pot um, and, and the roots are pretty good, they're actually quite flat, so it's pretty much flat there. So I've worked underneath and cut out the big roots before, so that's good. So it should just go straight into that pot um, and we should be right. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Remember I mound it up in the middle. try and put the ties at the back. I've got a couple of ties that I want to put at the back. So lily pillars are quite indestructible in a way. Um, so you know I pretty much just grabbed this and cut it right out of the ground. It was pretty hacked it out pretty much. Um, so, so they're gonna be pretty easy to recover from this I think. Alright everyone, so nicely, nicely in a pot now, nicely repotted. Um, I should just, you know, go along and plod along and survive, but you can see now that that's why I wanted to try and expose this base so I can start to work with the tree. Um, and just to show you what I want to plan on doing is um, somewhere in there will be the front, somewhere, I'm not sure, maybe, maybe at a different angle, slightly different ways, but the point of having this pot is that I can put holes, and drill holes into it because it's plastic and start to, you know, wide, wide branches, wide trees down. But I can't really do it now because I've just repotted the tree. But you can actually start to, you know, bend branches and tie them up there rather than try and wire, wire each, each trunk. So that's, that's why I want to do that way. Um, you know, easily to maneuver tree, easily I can maneuver trees around. Um, you know, maybe that's the front there, spin it around. So it opens up a lot of options. Um, that's it. I can't really, I can't really work on it just because um, I've just repotted it. I want it to establish, and once it's established, then I can do some work on it. So it wasn't very, it wasn't very um, exciting, I guess, this one. But um, hopefully, you like to see, 
it, it, the reason I took it out of the pot, the other plastic pot, is so I can actually start working on it. Another windy day, of course, in Melbourne, nothing, nothing surprising. Um, and, you know, really start to develop some of these branches. Like, it's quite tall still, I want to reduce that. But I'm just going to let it recover for a month or two and then work on it. Because this thing, you saw the roots, they grow really well. You pretty much had no roots when I dug it out of the ground, and now it's cut, kicked along really well. So, another another pot, I mean, another tree repotted. Probably, I only got a couple more probably to do this season. I've got one more large spruce I want to do, and it's coming up. Um, and then, we'll, yeah, we'll look at this later on. Anyway, guys, I don't know. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that one, um, and I'll see you soon. Bye.